here at South by Southwest on Rainy Street and I'm about to head to uh, the Canadian bar and talk about the Vancouver esports scene. That's gonna be interesting. is increasing but parents are lost and, uh, and the gamers itself they're trying to understand what it's going for and I'm gonna I'm gonna start by I mean, just going a little bit I have only 10 minutes parents are dealing with the same issues my kid is spending four hours in Fortnite or whatever other game what do I do is this healthy when your kid is playing basketball you know you go watch him practice you take him you watch the games you cheer you know, you know what's going on. With these sports, it's very hard. My kid, uh, the other day, it was a Friday night, said I'm playing a Fortnite championship. It's an international tournament. And he's playing with grown-ups, and he's 12. So we wanted to create something that would address all that. At the same time, addressing this as an industry, as a professional opportunity, there, there are scholarships now being given to most uh, universities for gamers. The other part is esports and tournaments. It's important. There's an education. We want to create a game on league. The league comes to help parents to educate. And we want to focus, since this is a physical event, we want to focus on the cities. So we want to start with Vancouver, hopefully. Of course, we have to bring their heroes, their social influencers. Please welcome my esports guests. And Spiro, can you explain a bit about, more about the gaming stadium? What we like to, the terminology we use at the gaming stadium is watch, learn, and compete. So we want people to come in and be able to uh, consume tournaments, to be able to see how they can get better, but also see the other avenues that they can make for a career. So there's broadcasting, producing, there's uh, holding the video camera, there's a whole bunch of different things that we'll have provide. So the other thing we're working on, a coaching and training program, where we'll have professional coaches available at our facility that can help facilitate development of the next generation of esports players. And then lastly, the competition. So for us, we call it casual competitive. We're not looking for the super high-end talent. Uh, we want the local community to get together. So we want the folks that you know play regularly with their friends that can come in and play against people of a like-minded skill. But that's the goal, is cultivating the next generation. So I wanted to thank my uh, panel. Thanks for getting everybody. Hey guys, I'm Alex from Matthew Sachi G. We just finished up eating and I got a repa. So now we're we're done with the Canada thing, which is super cool. And now we're gonna head over to Dirty Sixth Street and do a startup a beta announcement yeah. thing. What is it? All the, the the announcement of all the startups that won. All the startups that won this like really amazing prize by South by Southwest. They're gonna present the winner. So it's really exciting because it's gonna be startups amongst startups. It's probably going to be the cleanest, dirty 6th Street is, so it should be fun. <laughs> One of the downsides is I don't get to watch the event, so I'm tuning into my road and feeling it right now. <laughs> Buffering. We are all trash. You lost. You? Oh. You lost. Sorry, Nairo. It's okay, I'll bring it back in, we in love Losers. You. That wasn't super interesting, but it was cool to see all the other startups around town. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was based on a startups more uh, health community. Yeah, startups. there was a lot of health startups there. Yeah. yeah. But it was good. It was good to check out. It was fun. Yeah.
Well, that's all for today, guys. The esports talk by the folks from Vancouver was excellent. I didn't catch the beginning part, but I'll upload and link what I did before below. A lot of what they were thinking in terms of cultivating esports and growing a community echoes my beliefs as well. I got to talk to them after the panel, and they all seem like great guys. So hopefully, we can figure out a way to work together. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this vlog stuff news. I personally enjoy it way more than just being a talking head, but it's a lot more work uh, in both filming and editing but it's also a ton of fun, so you'll see a pretty even split of both moving forward. Again, if you want to stay up to date with the latest in esports news, make sure to download our app and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow with another South by Southwest news vlog.